Hi, this is Jake from Huntsville, Utah, the tree guy. It's May, it's the first week in May, and I thought I would show how to take a small planting of acorns after they've grown a year or two, and then thin them out so you get more vigorous growth. So follow me. I've got a couple plantings. This little planting over here is starting its second year. And you can see, go ahead and zoom in on that group of oaks. You can see how, how many trees, I have a dozen or so trees growing here. Some of them are taller, some of them are not. This is actually a Burr English oak right here. That's a different oak that was planted from a seedling that I ordered through the mail. But these are all Burr oaks that were planted from acorn. And so the first thing you want to do is kind of assess your little grouping and decide which individual shows the most vigor. And I would say in this case, this is the fattest, tallest bur oak tree in the group. So the first thing I would do is I would select for that, make sure that the tip shows growth, and then take your Felco pruners and take off any side shoots and that's gonna be your tallest, most vigorous individual. And then the rest are just sapping nutrients away from your selected trees. So I usually, at this stage, I'll usually select two backup trees and a main tree. And so in this case, I'm not sure if this pedunculate oak is gonna make it, but it's, so far it's pretty good. So these are kind of my backup trees anyway. but. What I would do is I would say, okay, this is backup number one. If this guy dies, and this is my only burrow, this would be backup number one, this would be backup number two. That's a good spacing. These are pretty robust individuals here. And then I would go in and just clip out all these nice, healthy sprouts with my pruners. And I usually take them, line them up like this in my hand, and cut them into small pieces because the material that decomposes from these sprouts is exactly what these parent trees need. So you might as well just compost it right back into the same area to use it as feeding mulch for the trees that remain. So you can see I have these little flags that I put in here to remind me that I had a planting there. I probably don't need those anymore. So I would go ahead and just Trim these out. This one you can see has a number of different branches. Take, kind of choose the most dominant ones, take the rest of them off, and see what happens to others here. Actually, sometimes you gotta dig down because sometimes you're not sure if this is a branch of, of this individual here or if this is a separate one. In this case, it looks like it's a separate one. So I'll just take that off. And so you can see, and the reason to do this is you really don't want all these competing for for, for, uh, for resources. I'm actually gonna leave this one too, it's pretty nice. So anyway, I would finish that out and leave maybe three or four, but I definitely don't need all 12 in there. So let's go to the next grouping.